Namaste, kings and queens. Thank you for gracing my channel. Your presence is such a presence, so it's only right that I reciprocate you with the gift of guided messages. I'm sending you all peace, healing, love, and prosperity, also health and wealth. Please make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe, please. And um, hit the bell so that you're notified every time I upload a beautiful reading. Thank you to all my new subscribers. I see you. And if you are returning, welcome back. Thank you for being here. So this is going to be a weekend reading. Um, I'm going to start it off general. And then we can get into love um, or whatever spirit wants you all to know. All right. So let's see here. Holy Divine Angels, please provide me with general messages for the collective for the weekend. Alright, April 16th through April 18th. Whoa! <laughs> okay. Which I got popping off. Oh, Alright. <laughs> Alright. So, okay, nine of cups here. All right, so you guys are going to be indulging in some type of fun, some type of um, gathering, or just doing something very, um, very enjoyable, okay? Some of you guys could be getting out. Um, some of you guys could be going shopping, online shopping, um, whatever brings you gratification. I feel like you guys will be doing that or that's coming in for you, all right? Um, I also see packages coming, a lot of boxes you're going to be opening this weekend, all right? Let's see here. What else do we have? The devil. Okay, so be careful because um, some of you guys could be indulging in too much. Okay, too much indulging, some type of substance or some type of toxic behaviors. Um, some, some of you guys might be getting into some trouble I'm seeing here. Um, I'm also getting you doing something you haven't done in a long time and it's a different effect on you now. All right. Some of you guys could be engaging in some type of activities with the Capricorn. All right. The full car. Yeah, you guys are just something new. Okay, so you guys could be trying something new. So be careful because this could become an addiction for you. All right. The Ace of Pentacles came out in reverse here. All right. So this can cause you a decline in your finances if you get attached or addicted to something. All right, we have Aries energy out here as well. The Knight of Swords here. Yeah, whatever this is, you're going to be, um, okay, so I'm hearing like a no-brainer. Like it's going to be um, like maybe somebody's going to ask you like, hey, have you ever tried this or have you ever done this? Have you ever been here? And you're going to be like, no, they're going to be like, do you want to try it? All right. And you're going to be like, yeah, like you're not going to even think about it. I'm being guided to tell you, please think twice about this. Don't just jump in um, head first because this is something that you can get easily addicted to. All right. So be careful. And I'm also seeing that you guys have the means or the money to do it now, but you can you can very quickly down spiral here. We have the Page of Cups and the Four of Swords here. So I do feel like some of you could be coming across somebody new or meeting somebody new. They're very charming. They're very sweet. I'm also getting a very handsome young man or young woman that you're meeting. This makes it easier for you to just say yes. Um, I'm being guided again to tell you to think about this, okay? Don't move so quickly, all right? With the Four of Swords and the Knight of Swords, Five of Swords here, there's some manipulation behind this. So just be careful. Um, we're just indulging in something new I'm getting here. New isn't always better. All right? So let's clarify. I want to know what this devil is. What this Capricorn energy is. What is this Capricorn energy? Wow. What's this Capricorn energy 
for my collect day for the weekend. Okay, we have the seven of cups in, in the reverse here. All right, so this person is going to try to explain something very vividly to you, like, or is going to seem like they're explaining something to you to where you're not confused about it, to where you feel sure and confident moving forward with, them, with this. Um, it's still an illusion, okay? I'm getting Neptune energy, okay? Um, justice in reverse. Yeah, this is gonna this is gonna be something that is this that's not for your highest good, and this person is lying. Okay, this person is yeah, King of Swords in reverse. They're a manipulator, a master manipulator. I'm hearing. All right, could be a Capricorn, could be an air sign or a fire sign. Okay, I feel like there's gonna be some passion ignited or some type of like fast fast movement. Or a decision being made very fast, but the fire is going to burn out very quickly in regards to this. What's the Ace of Pentacles in reverse? Okay, the Knight of Cups here. Yeah, I feel like the proposal that they're bringing to you is very sweet or it seems sweet. Okay, everything that glitters isn't gold collective, all right? I'm telling you, whatever this person is bringing to you, it's... um. trying to think of the right word i don't know why i'm hearing a lemon so maybe you guys may be getting um trying to get a new car but it's going to break down on you like a few miles out or again like whatever this substance is or this this new thing you're trying out is going to burn out very quickly it's a joke it's a hoax i'm hearing here so just be careful. Somebody could be plotting on your, your finances or your income, all right? I'm hearing like so-and-so has it. Like, let's call them. Like somebody's trying to conjure up a way to get a lump sum of something. I'm hearing a gram, a pound. I don't know, collective, but the, the six of swords at the bottom of the deck, get out of there. Yeah, page of swords, giving me a uh, seven of swords energy. Okay, lying, vindictive, sneaky. Okay, somebody might try to steal from you this weekend. All right. Yeah, with the nine of cups, you may be too like intoxicated, inebriated, um, not seeing things clearly. Somebody can easily snuff something from you. All right. So keep a close eye, keep your eyes open this weekend. All right. Let's get into some love for you. Let's get into some love for the collective for the weekend, April 16th through April 18th, please. What's coming in? What does the collective need to know? Wow, new love. It came out in the reverse, and I normally don't take these in the reverse. We have deception here. All right, so... All right, so this could be somebody new your meeting collective um, that's going to try to persuade you to do something outside of your norm. All right, someone's wearing a false self mask in this relationship. This person is deceptive. All right, you could be very attracted to this person. All right, for all the wrong reasons. We have retreat at the bottom of the deck. I'm, I'm just, I'm hearing a port, a port. <laughs> um, yeah. Religious factors here. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. Yeah. So um, I feel like you and your love partner may be going through some type of differences. Okay. We, retreat came out in reverse. So maybe some of you guys are choosing to still stay in this and maybe work through it. All right. Get through the deceptions, the dishonesty, the betrayal here. All right, but I don't, for some of you, I don't feel like it's going to work if you guys can't get past the religious factors. That's a big deal for some of you. Healing family issues. Yeah, your, your love life benefits as you forgive your partner. So yeah, I feel like some of you will decide to uh, forgive and heal the issues you guys have going on with your partner here. All right, with the retreat card in reverse. Again, yeah, I feel like some of you are going to choose to stay. You're going to write it out. So you guys could be healing some family issues this weekend. All right. And overcoming this deception energy. Oh, 
release your ex here. Release your ex. We have the time has come to cleanse your energy, clear your energy. And then we have true love. This is a romance of a lifetime. Yeah, I feel like that's why it's hard for some of you guys to um, release your ex because you really feel like this is a true love or this is a, a love of a lifetime. All right, pay attention to the red flags and wanting to come out in reverse, okay? So, yeah, a lot of you are going to be choosing to ignore the red flags. Yeah, you're not trusting your intuition here. You're not learning. And I feel like you need to forgive yourself eventually. I don't feel like that's going to happen over the weekend. But, you know, whatever may transpire throughout the month and forward may uh, push you to have to um, learn this lesson or realize this was a lesson you had to learn. Why is deception here? Why is deception here for the collective? So overall, collective, I do feel like this is be very aware of your surroundings and the people around you, even the people around your love interests, okay? Because this doesn't happen necessarily to be them, but there can be some deception energy around them as well. I feel like a lot of you know this. We have um, Hand of Cards, uh, Take a Chance, Risk, Being uh, strat Strategic, Options, Not Showing Hand. Yeah, so a lot of you are going to be choosing to take a gamble on your love interest, all right, with the deception here, okay? I feel like you guys are give, uh, giving this person another, another chance to be truthful or to right their wrongs with you. All right, for some of you, this could be the first time this person has uh, been deceptive towards you and you're giving them another chance. Then we have coffee shop, meeting and conversing, filling uplifted friendships. So some of you could be getting together with some friends over the weekend to kind of, kind of maybe just discuss what's been going on. You know, with, the, with everything that's been going on, you probably haven't been able to get out much. Yeah, then talking came out. Some of you guys could be texting your friends or starting a group chat over the weekend. All right. Hmm. What's this true love here? Because I feel like a lot of you think, think this person or feel like this person is your true love here. What's true love for the collective? What's the what's true love, please? We have abundance, the sword and rose, and the butterfly. Relationship evolving to the next phase, healing the inner child growth. So for some of you, you may be going through your own situation and your own healing and growth. So you're having some type of compassion for this person in their situation or in regards to them being deceptive. Maybe this person is going to be explaining to you over the weekend why they have these deceptive ways. Okay, with the healing family issues and religious factors. And then we have the sword and rose, clarity, truth, revelation, um, protection, and power. So, yeah, you're going to be having some type of face-to-face uh, -face or heart-to-heart -heart conversation. It's going to bring a lot of clarity over this relationship, over this true love situation. All right, then we have abundance, a positive mindset, manifest exactly what you want, gratitude, bliss. So I just feel like you guys are keeping a positive mindset in regards to this person that you're involved with. And you're just, um, you're just staying um, in a manifested energy. You're staying um, content and happy within your situation. And you're working towards a better, um, you're working towards a better way of being in this union. Okay, you're working out the kinks this weekend, I feel. All right. I'm just going to pull some kippers here. Are there any additional messages for the collective? Additional messages, please, for the weekend. Additional messages for the weekend.
Yeah, we have despair and we have the mature woman here. So I do feel like some of you are going to be in this sense of despair, all right, with the deception card here, all right, you're going to be um, in a state of disbelief, like, damn, like, here we go again, like, because I feel like if this is a new love, but it's in reverse, all right, this person has uh, divulged or showed some type of deception in the relationship, all right, and I feel like it's early on, and you're like, damn, but you're trying to be mature about the situation, or you're going to be mature about the situation. I'm also getting the energy of you guys feeling like you can save this person. I'm hearing, don't save her. She don't want to be saved. Don't save her. Yeah, see, we have bad health and family room. Wow. And then look, false person at the bottom of the deck. Be careful, collective. Be careful. I know that we're in an energy or in... We feel like we need somebody when all we really need is ourselves and our health and our sanity, right? With the bad health coming out with family room, okay, there's definitely going to be some type of discussion or some type of clarity being revealed at the home, okay? And this person is going to reveal some type of ailment they have. I do, I am getting mental illness though. Like, and this person is very embarrassed to tell you this. I feel like you're the pers the first person they're being honest and truthful with this, uh, with this, um, illness with. Yeah. Because they know you're mature and you can handle this. And I feel like you're going to handle it in a mature way, collective. I'm also seeing some of you guys offering this person to get some help. I don't see them taking the help but i do see it being offered all right so that's what i have for you collective i hope this helps i hope it resonates please make sure you like share comment subscribe and i will see you in the next video i shake